In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to use the Flutter package printing, which is going to enable us to generate PDFs and also print them. So as you can see in the example app we're going to build today, we create a simple Flutter app, which is hard coded, and then we get the pop-up to print it. And we can select, for example, the paper size, let's say A4. We can define how many copies we want. We also can define the orientation of the PDF. So right now it's in portrait mode. We could also have it in landscape. And then of course, if you have a printer and it should show up here and then you would press print and it would print the PDF. Then we can also have a look at the PDF before even printing it. Here we have a bigger text this time and can define in which sizes we want it to be. We can define the orientation again. We can directly print it from here or we can also share it from here. As you can see here, this is a PDF document. And since this is the simulator, you don't see any more apps here where you can share it with. But of course, if this is run on a real device, the user can share it with any other app he wants to. And here's just a last look at an advanced PDF. We can also create like a different font and a different font size with an image in there. Let's get started. As mentioned, we're going to use the Flutter package printing. Just press on here to copy it to your clipboard. And in your pubspec.yaml file, underneath your dependencies, just paste it in here and run pubget. That's all we need to do for the setup. If you want to run it on Mac OS, it is explained here within the pub.dev website that you should enable the printing capability for your Mac OS Xcode project. If you want to run this Flutter package on web, then make sure to go to your web folder and inside there, open up the index.html file and just before the end head tag, just paste this in here. And if you want to run this Flutter package on Windows and Linux, you can include these two lines within your CMake lists.txt file. Now let's have a look at our layout for our app. So we have a simple scaffold with an app bar, a body. This body has a column which is centered and inside this column we have three elevated buttons. Each button is separated with a size box here. So here's one and here's one. Then you have to write these three lines to import the capabilities we're going to use for this package. Now let's have first a look at this function here, this elevated button. So I created a custom function called create PDF. It's very simple. First we create a document. So we use the PW. The PW is is defined up here for the PDF widgets, as you can see here as PW, and then we create an empty document, and then we add to this document a page, and in this case we add a page here, pw.page, then we give this page a page format, in this case it's A4, then we build here this page with our custom layout. In this case, it's just a center text, which says, hello, Eclectify enthusiast. You could also add images within here. For this, you simply use the image from asset bundle. So in case you're loading it from your assets folder, and then you can load it within here. I'm going to show you later on how to do a more advanced layout for the PDF. But now we have our document and we can then print this by simply calling printing.layoutpdf. And here we define this doc.save. So we give this as parameter for the layout. And then this layout PDF function will open up the pop-up as seen here. This opens up the pop-up where we can then print our PDF. Two other things here to mention. You can also share this PDF. Instead of printing it, you can share it to other apps. So for this, you can use this line here. You can also give it a custom file name or you could save this PDF to your local device. For this, you have to use the Flutter package path provider. I did another tutorial on how to use the path provider package. I put in the link here so you can check it out if you want to. So you will understand how to use this get temporary directory. And then here you simply give this PDF a name and then it will save the PDF at this specified path. Now we can also have a look at the display PDF. So when we press on here, we can have a preview of our PDF. So in this case, we create a simple document and here we create a center text again as layout for the PDF. And this time I added a custom text style. In this case, I increased the font size to 30 so you can see that the text is bigger here on the PDF. And then to display this preview, I actually wrote a custom stateless widget, which is called preview screen, where we just pass through the document we just created. And now let's have a look at the preview screen. I defined it at the end of the file, but 
Ideally, of course, this should be in a separate file. Let's see, so it's a stateless widget, and then it's simply a scaffold. As you can see here, we have this back button where it just pops the context so that we can go back. And for our body of our scaffold, we can use this widget called PDF Preview, which we can get from our printing library. And here we define the layout of our document. So as mentioned, this is the one we pass through. And then you can allow sharing, for example. So this is set to true. So we have the sharing button here. We can allow printing directly from here, also here. And initial page format, as you can see here, it's A4. And we can give it a custom PDF file name. And there are plenty of other stuff you can also define Within here. Two other functions I've also declared here, which I'm not using, but I'm going to explain it to you how to use them. So you can convert a PDF to images. So in this case, you have your document, and then in this case, you can define which pages you want to convert, and you can also define the DPI of each image. And then within here, you have access to the image, and then you can save it however you like to do it. Then another function is that you can already print an existing PDF. So let's say you have a PDF within your assets folder. For this, first import this services in your Flutter file, and then you can use the root bundle and the path to your PDF. And we save this into the PDF variable, and then we can use the printing.layoutPDF again, and this time use the PDF.buffer and convert it into a uint eight list and then we can simply print it out and then lastly for a more complex pdf as you can see here so we have a custom font here in this case one from pdf google fonts so let's have a look at the layout here so we actually define a column so that we can have multiple things in here and then we declare a size box within the size box we have a text so in this case this then a size box between the text and the image and then here we use the flutter logo but you can again use text or an image or whatever you like and then we simply call this function to print it again here so that we get this pop-up here and then again we can print it I hope you liked this tutorial. Please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below in the comments. And thank you for watching.